Hi there, it's the 11th night of Christmas. We're almost on the home stretch. Um, tonight I wanna to talk about painful intercourse because that's something that many, many women experience in their sex life. And I just wanted to address it a little bit. So pain from intercourse can be caused by lots and lots of different things. Um, so I'm just gonna cover just a couple of things to try, behaviors, strategies to try, um, if that's something you experience. So the first thing always, just the base level recommendation is always to buy a lubricant, either a water-based or a silicone-based lubricant, um, whatever you are most comfortable with. Um, a lubricant can help with the insertion. So if pain happens at sexual insertion, a lubricant can really help with that. Um, uh, I know there can be some misconceptions about lubricant, like I, if I have to use a lubricant, I'm not um, getting aroused, when in actuality you can be fairly aroused and not se be self-lubricating much because of a ton of different things. Just like um, if you are on antihistamines, it was, it's going to dry up your mucuses in your nasal passages and it will dry you up in, in your vagina too. So um, a lot of different things can cause you to feel dry even if you are um, aroused. So use a lubricant um, and try not to associate being having your own vaginal lubrication to being aroused because they are not necessarily always connected. Okay, so a lubricant can really help. Um, and then spending a, a lot more time in the arousal phase of your sex. Um, we know that men take about two to three minutes to get fully aroused and women need 13 to 20 minutes um, before penetration. To, be, to get fully aroused. So um, if you if you are not spending that full 13 to 20 minutes um, in foreplay and arousal activities, um, here is a suggestion to help you get there. Um, make a playlist on your phone to where it is about 13 to 20 minutes long and put it on repeat. So um, do all the fun foreplay activities that you can do without penetration for the 13 to 20 minutes. And when you hear the first song again is the time when you should be about ready for penetration. So that's a nice little um, way to kind of keep track of making sure you are getting enough foreplay because there's lots of things that happen to your body um, in those moments that help you get ready for penetration, okay? So um, so the 10th night of Christmas is um, really for those of you who are experiencing painful intercourse, um, definitely a lubrication and definitely spend some time in foreplay. Now there are lots of other suggestions I can give, but those are the two big ones that can really change the course of the pain that you're experiencing. Now, along with painful intercourse comes a lot of other things like um, shame and resentment and anger and a lot of things. So if you're struggling with some of those, I would encourage you to check out my course at the link below because we will address a lot of those issues that come with painful intercourse um, in January on my online course. So I'd encourage you to check it out. Hope you're having a lovely night. You're almost there. See you tomorrow.